So what were you just saying then, Jane? I just said that I'm making corned beef hash. And it's like one of my mum's old favourites when we were poor. Yeah. And all it is is just like some sliced up onions, sliced up potatoes, um, do a gravy. However you do your gravy. I have used Bisto mm. uh, today. Mm, then... it, was it mmm Bisto? Mmm Bisto. Mmm. <laughs> uh, and then basically you just like kind of simmer it in the gravy on the hob for a little while and then put on some corned beef hash we've got some um everyday value everyday value corned beef hash because i don't think there's any difference between that and fray bentos which is outrageous there may be a little bit of a difference in consistency yeah it slightly doesn't hold its form but when you're eating meat that's kind of but corned beef is actually really good for you if you look into the nutritional thing benefits of corned beef it's not as bad as other cuts of meat and it's a great way to kind of feed your kids really cheap meal and you just like pop it in it's all going to disintegrate like maybe fray bentos wouldn't disintegrate quite as much but oh princess is it princess princess are we advertising these people johnny well, you know what we're saying is that you can get as much tasty food out of everyday value corned beef yeah, as you can totally. for top brands. Totally. Right, I'm just scooping the rest in. Oh, and even sorry. if it just kind of disintegrates into the gravy, it's absolutely fine. It's all adding flavour, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've added mustard, a tiny bit of chilli flakes, and a bit of Liam Perrins into the gravy. And then I'm just going to pop it in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And then, oh, oh, voila. Just to go crispy on the top a bit, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little know. bit of a kind of a, like a coating kind of thing. And then it will be absolutely scrumptious. And it's such a cheap meal. Yeah. You know, and I'm not, I'm not advocating that, you know, you, you know, you, you want to put some veggies with it as well. Like, obviously. <laughs> There's some broccoli on the side, which we're going to do. Yeah. Car uh, what are they called? But Cutiferous you... vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli, all that family of vegetables are absolutely, that go wonderful with this. And mm. our superfoods um, go amazing with this dish. And it's just a very good value and I've done it. tea, isn't it? And it's a cup Johnny popped in no out. time at all. I had no idea where he'd gone. And uh, by the time it came back, you know, I practically made it. <laughs> and what were you saying about gravy just now? Gravy? It is all gravy, isn't it? Oh, no, gravy. what were you saying about gravy? Oh, I just love gravy. I mean, if you bring me a cup of gravy in the morning, I would drink it <laughs> rather than a cup of tea. I just love gravy. <laughs> is that wrong? Am I wrong? Nah, I think it's a fairly common Oh, love. I just love gravy. Mm -hmm. I mean, even vegetarians and vegans like Linda McCartney's gravy probably or something. Yeah, well obviously, you know, it'd be best to make your own gravy, which I have done from chicken stock. Mm -hmm. I'm boiling up a carcass of chicken, but yeah, who's got the time to do that? But you can get really good stocks these days. Yeah, but you don't have to have had Jane's rich and cultured upbringing that uh, in order to create something like this, do you, Jane? Jane's rich and cultured. This, is, this was like us being brought up. This is what we ate. You yeah. know what I mean? My, like, this is one of my mum's recipes. Cheese and onion. Pie was another one. Mm -hmm. Which was lovely. And also... Cheese and potato and onion, like pie and like puff pastry, Ooh. I think it was. It was really nice. Mm. Simple dishes, you know, let's go back to her old school. Peasant food. Yeah, I've had some of the best food that I've ever eaten that's been peasant food. Like in Hungary, I had um, this cabbage like this cabbage that was like stuffed with mince and kind of 
kind of all sorts of things and there's amazing vaulted cellar of a place, I can't remember where it was. Mm. It's too drunk to be honest, yeah. but uh, but yeah, peasant food, cheap but wholesome and you know, add your veggies to it. And you know where? Um, but what what we were saying was, uh, you don't have to have had James, you don't have to have lived the life of the Ambrose in order to get this because Jane's available for nutritional consultation, £150 an hour. She'll come, no, I'm not, Johnny. Stop she'll telling come, lies. She'll come, round to you, she'll come round to your house. She'll teach There's some you, cranberry juice, by the way, but she'll as well. You how to, she'll teach you how to cook some of these very cost-effective meals. It literally only costs £150 an hour. And from then on, for the rest of your life, you will be rich nutritionally more cultured nutritionally healthier and you will save so much more money than that well, original yeah, investment there is a into money saving. Jane's consultation service there is a money Good saving element service. to it johnny so. but like no that is not my main thing it's about health and nutrition johnny it um, is yes i do know this jane um you know mm. and it's about disease prevention mm. Yeah. and you know healthy living and yeah. we all know how stressed we are or how busy we are mm. we haven't got time to puree our own pomegranates beans and yeah. things like that which i actually did for my own daughter whilst i was weaning her mm. um but yeah so you know it's just a simple dish and like with veggies yeah. it's true she was a man bean mother I can't tell you what the benefits of mung beans are. Mm. Do you know what mung beans turn into? Uh, yeah. What? Uh, mung, mung balls, mung brown, uh, mung be, brine. Bean sprouts. Be, oh, really? Mm -hmm. I love a crunchy But bean don't sprout. eat them whilst the mung beans. Eat them when the bean sprouts. I love because a Because they've got too many lectins in them whilst they are mung beans. Uh, Once they turn into a bean sprout, you can eat them. Uh, and there you go, that's a little free taste of what you could get with Jane's personal nutritional home consultation service. Just for £150 an hour. And a low He's sign lying. Up fee, a I'm low, not charging. And a low sign up fee of £795 to join Jane's nutritional network. Johnny, Dra there's no fee, there's nothing. <laughs> Could you get the pan and hold it whilst I put it in? and stop it in my okay. head. Okay, uh, signing out.